Welcome to the Crit Line Monitor Blood Volume Monitoring e-Learning Course. The course provides an introduction to the function of the Crit Line Monitor and its clinical use. This educational program has been developed in its entirety by Fresenius Medical Care North America. It is intended to provide pertinent data to assist healthcare professionals in forming their own conclusions and making decisions. It is not intended to replace the judgment or experience of the attending physician or other medical professional. The hemodialysis treatment prescription is the sole responsibility of the attending physician. Please refer to your clinic's policies and procedures and the manufacturer's instructions for use for further information. The objectives of this course are to Discuss relative blood volume as a balance between ultrafiltration rate, or UFR, and vascular refill rate. Recognize how blood volume monitoring can guide optimization of ultrafiltration rate during dialysis treatment. Describe the characteristics of the different blood volume profiles A, B, and C. And finally, explain performance and assessment of the vascular refill check. During dialysis, fluid is continuously removed from the blood by ultrafiltration, or UF. This is compensated by diffusion of fluid from tissues into the blood, a process known as vascular refill. Vascular refill is an important factor for safe and effective dialysis. Without vascular refill, ultrafiltration would reduce the circulating blood volume substantially and eventually lead to cardiovascular complications. When performing dialysis, achieving the right balance between ultrafiltration rate and vascular refill rate is important to optimize fluid removal without causing intradialytic symptoms. A low ultrafiltration rate combined with a high refill rate could potentially miss the opportunity for more effective fluid removal. A high ultrafiltration rate combined with a slow refill rate can lead to symptoms such as dizziness, nausea, and hypotension. In many cases, the nurse or physician does not usually have information about the patient's relative blood volume and vascular refill rate during dialysis. The lack of this information is what led to the design of the crit line monitor. The crit line monitor has been developed to continuously monitor percent change in blood volume during dialysis. The crit line monitor also non-invasively measures hematocrit and calculated hemoglobin, as well as oxygen saturation. Crit line monitor oxygen measurements reflect the saturation at the vascular access site. It is important to remember that normal values for a fistula or graft can differ from a central catheter. Given this variation, standardized treatment recommendations based on certain oxygen saturation values are not available. The Crit Line Monitor provides the clinician with real-time information about blood volume changes and vascular refill during dialysis. The Crit Line Monitor can thus guide the clinician to intervene and adjust the ultrafiltration rate accordingly during dialysis. The purpose of this intervention is to provide a more effective dialysis treatment. The aim is to optimize the rate of fluid removal in order to remove the maximum amount of fluid, but also to prevent common symptoms of dialysis, including nausea, cramping, and vomiting. When using the crit line monitor, it is important to recognize its limitations. The crit line monitor provides the clinician with clinically relevant parameters. However, the crit line monitor does not provide a treatment algorithm and does not directly intervene in the dialysis treatment. Beneficial or adverse clinical outcomes have been described in the literature using the CRITLINE monitor. Clinical outcomes depend on the adequate prescription by the physician. The CRITLINE monitor parameters must always be considered in conjunction with the following before prescribing or changing a dialysis treatment. The patient's clinical assessment, comorbidities, and existing medical history. Please note that any decision regarding patient treatment is the sole responsibility of the attending physician. 
Let us now discuss how the crit line monitor works. The crit line monitor has two components for performing its measurements. One is a blood chamber connected to the dialysis blood lines. The other is a sensor that emits and detects light. To obtain the hematocrit measurement, the crit line monitor uses multiple wavelengths of light to transilluminate the blood. The differences in light absorption between blood constituents allow for identification and measurement of the hematocrit. The crit line monitor is attached to the dialysis machine and continuously displays the following parameters during the dialysis treatment. The hematocrit and estimated hemoglobin value, oxygen saturation, and blood volume change in percent from the start of dialysis. It is important to note that all blood volume changes provided by the crit line monitor refer to the relative blood volume change from the start of dialysis and not to absolute measures. The crit line monitor also shows the time that has elapsed since the start of dialysis. In addition to each numerical parameter, the crit line monitor also displays the percent change in blood volume over time graphically. The graphical curve of blood volume change over time is often referred to as the crit line profile. Crit line profiles are typically classified according to the steepness or slope of the change in relative blood volume, or RBV, into profile A, profile B, or profile C. Before we discuss the characteristics of crit line profiles in more detail, let us have a closer look at the crit line monitor screen. Each vertical line of the display represents one hour of elapsed time since the start of dialysis. The screen initially shows four hours, but will rescale if the treatment exceeds this time. The horizontal lines represent the percent change in blood volume relative to the start of dialysis. Thus, the line always starts at zero. Positive values above the zero line signify an increase while negative values below the zero line represent a decrease in relative blood volume. Small arrows can be set by the user to indicate when interventions or symptoms occurred. Below the graph are the numerical displays of current hematocrit, current estimated hemoglobin, blood volume percent change since the start of treatment, oxygen saturation, and the time that the treatment has progressed. Our first example shows a sometimes slightly positive or negative, but on average, flat curve with no cumulative blood volume change at the end of the treatment. This is also referred to as blood volume profile A. With the ultrafiltration rate above minimum, a flat or positive profile indicates that the patient's plasma refill rate is occurring at the same or a greater rate than ultrafiltration. A blood volume profile A suggests that the ultrafiltration rate might be increased without immediate risk of intradialytic symptoms. This example shows a gradually declining curve with a relatively constant blood volume change of minus 3.25% per hour over four hours. The treatment ended at a relative blood volume change of minus 13%. Such a profile is referred to as blood volume profile B. A gradually declining profile B has been targeted to find the best compromise between a high ultrafiltration rate and the prevention of intradialytic symptoms. The ideal slope is not a fixed percentage of the change in blood volume and will vary from patient to patient. As mentioned before, the crit line monitor does not provide a treatment algorithm or directly intervene in the dialysis treatment. The physician has to determine the best prescription for the patient based on clinical judgment and the policies and procedures of the clinic. Typical published values range from minus 1.33% per hour to minus 8% per hour, depending on patient characteristics and algorithm. This third example shows a steep decline in blood volume after about 90 minutes on dialysis. The relative blood volume change after one hour and 50 minutes is minus 19%. A steep slope represents a rapid decrease in blood volume, 
which bears a higher risk for intradialytic symptoms. Literature indicates that this might occur at a blood volume change of greater than minus 8% per hour, or at a total blood volume change of greater than minus 16% at the end of a 3-4 to four hour dialysis session. However, some patients may have a lower or higher tolerance, depending on cardiovascular status and other comorbidities. Apart from monitoring the relative blood volume curve during the treatment, vascular refill can be assessed by performing a plasma refill test with the Critline monitor. This can be done at the end of dialysis or any time during dialysis. The vascular refill test is performed as follows. Turn ultrafiltration off or reduce to the minimum ultrafiltration rate and record the current hematocrit value. Wait 10 minutes and again record the current hematocrit value. If the hematocrit value has decreased by greater than or equal to 0.5, vascular refill is present. If the hematocrit has decreased by less than 0.5, no vascular refill is present. The assessment and interpretation of the plasma refill test is based on the following rationale. Refill indicates that fluid is shifting from the tissues to the vascular compartment. This means that additional fluid may be available for removal if fluid removal is indicated in this patient. No refill indicates that fluid is not shifting to the vascular compartment. This means that additional fluid removal without increased risk of intradialytic symptoms is limited. When assessing plasma refill, one should be aware that a positive or negative refill test alone does not necessarily indicate whether patients are fluid overloaded or at their dry weight. Determination of dry weight should always be based on a comprehensive clinical assessment by the physician. In some patients, longer dialysis at slower UF rates may be necessary, especially if no refill is present, which indicates that the patient is intravascularly dry, but the prescribed dry weight has not been reached. In summary, the CRITLINE monitor helps the clinician to optimize fluid removal through hematocrit-based blood volume monitoring, maximize UF while preventing intradialytic symptoms, and more effectively reach the patient's prescribed target weight. Criteria for UF guidance include the steepness of the slope in the blood volume change, that is, profiles A, B, and C, maximal change in relative blood volume per treatment, refill test during or at the end of dialysis, and, importantly, the dialysis prescription should always consider the patient's clinical assessment comorbidities, and medical history. Thank you for participating in this course. The intended use of the CRITLINE monitor is as a non-invasive hematocrit, oxygen saturation, and percent change in blood volume monitor. The CRITLINE monitor also non-invasively estimates access recirculation and non-invasively estimates access blood flow. In addition, the CRITLINE monitor calculates an estimated urea reduction ratio based on relative changes in urea nitrogen concentration in the spent dialysate. Please be aware that federal U.S. law restricts the CRITLINE monitor to sale by or on the order of a physician or other licensed practitioner. Read the instructions for use for safe and proper use of the CRITLINE monitor. For a complete description of hazards, contraindications, side effects, and precautions, see full package labeling available at www.fmcna.com.